God, we thank you. God, I thank you for this people. God, I believe they, I know they did. They got it. <laughs> that that day, today, and the forever day. That we actually worship today in expectation of the forever day. Yes. What we gonna do <laughs> but joy and celebrate when we see Jesus. So God, help us to see Jesus every day. Help us to see Jesus when we walk through the church doors. Help us to see Jesus when we face whatever battle. Help us to see Jesus when we don't feel like seeing Jesus. God, I thank you for touching lives, strengthening bodies. God, miracles, signs, and wonders do follow you. So God, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Just felt praying that in general for everyone. You know, if only, <laughs> if only we got, you know, Kathy, sometimes I want to empty my heart and my brain and put it in my children. Anybody? I mean, I want it back, but you know, I figure if I could do it for a split second, they'd get a boost of the anointing and walk in it. You know, the common sense anointing, you know. But you know what I realize? I'm going to have to keep on praying because they have their own arid experiences so that they can find their own well. Because if I empty me and them, they're going to live off of me like a parasite or a symbiotic relationship. No, instead they need to be separate and have their own relationship with God. But we just keep on praying. That's what we're doing. I don't know about in here. I'm looking at everyone and I believe everyone is a Christian. Yeah. So out there, <laughs> we have this. The Bible talks about the well because it's needed. So apparently Christianity, this Christian walk is not a tiptoe through the tulips. There are situations, yet our situations are made easier, bearable, hopeful, because we believe in Jesus. I'm here to tell you, let me say this clearly, that somebody is thinking, even this week, I need to get out of this island. I'm going to tell you, all you need is Jesus. Ha <laughs> ha! I just felt that. All you need is Jesus. Your perspective has to change. Because if it's about escapism, some people go too, that's fine. But if it's about escapism, you're still gonna be with yourself. And possibly still without Jesus. You need Jesus. So if you need Jesus, I'm gonna ask you to repeat this after me. Dear God. Dear God. I thank you for today. I thank you for today. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Yet. Yet, in this dry season of sin, in this dry season of sin, I recognize, I recognize, I have a well, I have a well. Now Jesus, now Jesus, you are the well, you are the well. You came, you came, gave your life, gave your life for my sins, for my sins. So Jesus, so Jesus, I say today, I say today, come into my heart, come into my heart, be my Lord, Savior, and King, be my Lord, Savior, and King. Today, today. Come into my heart to stay. Come into my heart to Thank stay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For salvation. For salvation. Now I have joy. Now I have joy. Amen. 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 Now, to keep the joy, you have to keep being taught. You, you could go to heaven from your computer seat. However, that is not the kingdom way. That's the I just got in way. Your need, spoke to a, a, a couple of folks this week. You're needed. Because Bermuda needs to see that you can be a success. I, I speak to the males that are just leaving and running this. I want to know where are the males that are going to stay and show that this is my home. I don't need to run away. God, speak, speak, God. So we thank God for his word. Amen. If we can have this removed out of semen, Brother Dick. Du Bois, J. Cam, 
you have us doing? Looking good in your orange voice. Hallelujah. Oh, sing.
13, he'll be 18 in five years if Jesus can. Write out your plan, what you want to do, and God will show you how to get to it. You understand? Proud of you. Put your hands together for that. And then we had Zayari. Now, of course, got seven girls, football. And then he's received, you'll see it, high flyer certificate and beautiful things that they're saying about him. And so Zai, Mr. Professor, if you see this, you know Pastor is proud of you. And church, let's put our hands together for Zai. Then I have one more. Oops. Did I get sent more information I forgot? Because I do it. What's, what's your story? It was sports day. Yes, sports day. Where's your mama? Where's your mama? Why am I not getting this information? You came first and everything? What, what you guys? Two seconds. Never mind. What two seconds? One, one first, two seconds, mama. Seconds and 100 and... 100 and... 800 too? You did a long distance? Oh, sprinter and long distance. Interesting. Okay. Well done. Are you happy with how you done? What else? Anything else? A third. Okay. In 400. Somebody, somebody cheated. That's why you came there. The Father, we forgive the cheater. And we pray the cheater to repentance. In Jesus' name. We forgive him and we let him go. And next year, beat them. That's all. That's all. Set your sights. All right? Good stuff. Good stuff. Give Dion. And then I know it was my, my niece said she came something. You came what in sports? Tell everybody. Second. Second in what race was it? Second. It was second and second. All right. Give her a hand clap. It was second and something. Is that it? Am I going? Parents send stuff so pastor can get them together. Anything else? I think we're good. Let's give the children a hand clap. I am a promise. I am a promise. I am a promise. you celebrate mm -hmm. look where the Lord has brought you from so many of you testify I look at a few right now hallelujah if it were not for the grace of God where would you be I'm sure mm -hmm. you're down under you can say that the Lord has been with you throughout your life if your mother prayed for you yes you're out there doing your own thing the mercies of the Lord will upon you in his spiritual life as he needed you in his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Your life belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. Cry aloud, spare not. Thank you. We always get off track. Mm -hmm. Get back in line. Get back in line. That's it. And that's every one of us. Because our Lord loves us, rules have been put in place mm -hmm. to direct us in the right path we ought to go. Stay in line. Stand strong in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to look over to the life, to the past, to appreciate what He has done for us now. That's right. Wow. The wonder. You're in a battle, in a warfare. Remember that. Mm -hmm. 
he may come out with some bruises. <laughs> but just he'll come out victorious. Come on. Hmm. What type of Christian are you? Think about it. Don't stay in your pain. That's right. Come see a man. <laughs> we depart to a life of consistent prayer. We depart to meditate on and study the word of God. We depart to obey the word of God in our daily lives. We depart to share our testimonies and win souls. We depart to reign in life as kings and priests of the Lord Jesus Christ. We depart to conquer evil and show forth the love of God in a dying world. Jude 24, 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. Amen. God bless you, Dr. Maria Seaman here. Thank you for joining us today in our service of praise and worship and the word. Our prayer is that you have indeed been blessed. If you're looking for a church home, we invite you to come on down to 98 North Shore Road there in Hamilton Parish and join us. We look forward to seeing you. If you would like to be in contact with us, with myself, you can reach us at 504-9235 or 295-9235. You can also email me, swim at logic.bm. Again, we thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you in person. And you know what I'm saying. Blessings abound. Friends, if you were blessed by the sermon and you made a decision to give your heart to Jesus Christ, well, first of all, wonderful. The best decision you could ever make. And we invite you to reach out to us. Our phone lines are open. Uh, the numbers are 1-441-504-9235 or 1-441-295-9235. Our prayer intercessors are waiting to hear from you. Give us a call. And if you want to contact myself directly, email me at swim at logic.bm. Now, don't panic if you missed a sermon. Oh, no. You can find sermons to be blessed by as you're cooking, cleaning, exercising, you name it, via our podcast, Real Nurse Real. You can find us on Apple, Google, Spotify, and Stitcher. Our study on the book of Revelation continues every Thursday night, 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Bermuda time. If you want to sign up, please reach out to us to register at swimatlogic.bm. Again, I invite you to join us next week, Sunday at 9.30 a.m. That's Sunday school for all ages, from the child to the adult. We are here to serve you. And it's a great atmosphere. You get to participate, ask questions, have a conversation during the teaching session with our superintendent, Alder Janice Battersby. Oh, and tonight, tonight, 6 p.m., we are on Zoom to Facebook. Oh, yes. Our night service will begin at 6 p.m. And our speaker is our very own Deaconess Nancy Tolbert Wilkes. Her sermon topic is learn to wait on God's timing. Okay, we are looking forward to that. And again, you can join us in the Zoom room or via Facebook. Again, thanks for choosing Shekinah Worship Center as your online church. We pray that your soul has been richly blessed and that you then decide to join us in person next week, Sunday, 9.30 a.m. Sunday School, and then 11 a.m. our worship service. Those who remain online, you know that we begin at 10.30 with the pre-service. Catch this. Well, thanks again for being with us. Let's continue studying God's Word, fellowshipping together, 
And you know what I'm saying. Blessings abound. God bless you. We know that you have just heard the sermon and I believe that there are those of you who have been richly blessed and challenged to the point where you need to find yourself a church home. One thing we are short of is that as time continues, we don't. Meaning in this earthly time, it will change from time to eternity. And the question is always, where will you spend eternity? As a scientist, one of the uh, rules of physics that really stuck with me in high school, even to this day, is that matter cannot be destroyed. It's changed from one form to another. And I'm so glad that when the Trump signs, my God, that indeed what was flesh, human flesh, carnal flesh and blood, it's going to be transformed into immortal. Come on, somebody. This mortal flesh shall drop and rise to seize the everlasting skies. Where will you spend eternity? We're in practice mode right now. We're pilgrims traveling through. As much as we're having good, wonderful time on earth, we realize eternity is on its way. Where shall you spend eternity? Where shall you spend eternity. Well, the choice is yours today. If you're looking for a church home, you need a church home, please reach out to me as I am called of God to continue to study, teach God's word and guide God's people from here to eternity. And you know what I'm saying. Blessings abound.